is good you it's your boy Sam back here with another episode of our no money spent squad series and i'm gonna go lie a daily login reward being 500 mt is something i will take every single time back to our exhibitions 3500 mt already a playmaker deluxe pack really solid bronze prize bowl sadly have to quick sell that as well as 1250 MT. So just for logging on today, we got the 500 MT as well as a ton of MT just from our exhibitions. Now today we did get our first kind of promo list towards the KD. Do I think Larry Bird is worth it? Absolutely not. Also do see Wesley Matthews on sale and nothing I'm really too worried about for that. Now, we also did get some free cards in my team. The perfect build set, you do get uh, Channing Fry as well as Chuck Person. Two cards that I'm actually pretty excited about. I'm going to try to knock out both of these today before diving into anything else because you do get 2000 MT for it as well, which is really solid. Now lately guys, we have been playing a lot of my team unlimited for Julius Randle. We are close to him as well, but again, that's not my main goal. My main goal, grinding out probably Channing Fry first and then moving on towards Chuck Purse. Now for Channing Fry, make 10 four pointers in clutch time offline or clutch time online. Now. I'm at a super easy difficult right now in clutch time offline. So that's where I'm headed. If you are on a harder difficulty of clutch time offline, you might be better suited to go into, uh, honestly, go into clutch time online and see if your opponent is nice and just both you guys can just let each other shoot and get it done relatively quickly. Obviously for me, clutch time offline probably is the move. Since I'm at a pretty low tier, it should be really easy to knock out these 10 four pointers. I'm going to see if Drazen can make some shake here. I know his release is really bad, but he's the one guy with half range or gold range, but just like a 90-some three balls. I'm not going to sit here and lie, guys. I kind of struggled in this first game. I've only knocked down four three or four four-pointers, which it's fine. Like, I'm eventually going to get it done, but I would really like to get it done by our next game. I'm going to put Desmond Bain in the lineup at the small four position and see if that helps because four four-pointers isn't bad, but I need six in this next game just to ensure I don't have to play any more clutch time games than I have to. I'm here. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness 2K is letting me make whites. That's a great start. Look at Desmond Bain. Just shoot it. I could care less. Just shoot it. Have fun, uh, Karan Butler. Have fun. Come on. I'm not going to lie. Desmond Bain might have been the answer I was looking for. That's back-to-back -back triples. And all it takes is him to get sharp badge and the rest will be easy. Another W in the win column. We got 1,200 MT for that. And Desmond Bain did the rest. Now, what does that do? It gives me now the, one of the best stretch bigs in the entire game. The only big with silver range or higher, that is Ruby Channing Fry. Now again, I don't know how great he's going to be defensively, but he is a big addition to our squad because at the center position, obviously, we had Jabari Smith Jr., we had Jack Sigma, but now we have an extra big that I think is going to be really, really, really important for what I personally want to do on the No Money Spent Squad Series. So welcome Channing Fry to the squad, and here's the deal guys he's got a seven foot frame as well as an 85 three ball we're gonna make him work now the other thing left to do today and we'll get 2000 extra mt with it is make 23 pointers with small forwards over multiple triple threat online games the key there small forward now i think i can go into triple threat offline and if i can that's where i'm headed just because i don't feel like sweating today you can go into triple threat offline. So what I'd recommend, put Desmond Bain out there. Again, he has small forward eligibility, so it should work. And then I'd put, you know, Matt Barnes, whoever else you like is a sharpshooter, and then a big. I'll put Channing Fry out there. But again, my goal is to knock down threes with Desmond Bain. First game with Desmond Bain, an easy game with Desmond Bain. Really no stress grinding that out. I want to make sure Desmond Bain counts and that you don't need a primary small forward to do that. I don't think you should, but I'm just in the back of my mind wondering if 2K is going to make you guys use, you guys and me use a primary small forward because I went to do an exhibition and it said add a small forward and it had to be a primary small forward. So that's always something I want to think about in the back of my head, just making sure these things are counting. They are we're in good shape game two done in the books and the one thing i will say by just grinding these challenges 
you're going to see your MT slowly rise. And again, at the end of it, I do know I'm going to get an extra 2,000 MT for getting Chuck Person as well as, uh, as well as uh, Channing Fry. I lost his name for a second. So, I mean, look, I, I, I never hate these free cards. I'll never hate on them. We've got one more win left to get. Now you guys can see 20 out of 20 three-pointers made. Uh, Desmond Bain carried me through clutch time offline. Desmond Bain carried me through triple threat offline, knocking down threes in a big time way. So now we'll add Chuck Person, as well as, you know, the 2000 MT that you get for completing both those challenges. And I'll say it guys, today, a successful day on the No Money Spent Squad series. We added two really solid options in Chuck Person, as well as, uh, as Channing Fry. And now it's just a matter of putting those pieces in place. When when I compare Chuck to a guy like Cam Whitmore, the card looks really solid. Obviously not as fast as Cam, but I do think the card is going to be really, really solid. Now, I already tried out Channing Fry. Go watch the Channing Fry gameplay. I just want to see Chuck Person and what that release is looking like to just see if he really is a playable option. Release, it's like the old Scottie Pippen base. I actually don't mind it though. Straight up and down, really easy to time, super easy to green. It just is, isn't necessarily necessarily the quickest release but i'm okay with that right it is something i definitely can get used to and accustomed to with a big chuck person so honestly i'm very happy with the two guys we added to the squad as i do believe they can help me for the future now again am i logging in larry bird no i've got to save the mt where i can but basically what we've been at this thing for a little over three weeks built 200,000 mt it's just kind of tough because I feel like I'm never going to be in the position where I'm wanting to spend the MT. And that kind of stinks, right? Because at some stage, I want to spend the MT, whether it's Anthony Davis, whether it is Scottie Pippen, to upgrade this squad. But as it stands right now with, you know, the percent they're taking on each and every, you know, transaction you make, I just don't think it's going to be a smart idea for me to do that. So for now, I'm just going to continue to ball on a budget, do our exhibitions each, each and every day, and, you know, build our squad where we can. I can't worry about the stuff I can't control. All I can do is make the most out of what I can. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Add a Chuck person, add Channing Fry to the squad. Maybe tomorrow we'll make another stride towards Julius Randle. Chris Bosch coming tomorrow as well, so maybe that's where I'll focus. Maybe I'll head into Triple Threat Online, try to get the Chris Bosch, but just know tomorrow it's going to be an absolute sweat fest. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're doing it as always, man. I love you guys, and have a blessed day.